SUVs have proven hugely important for luxury automakers, and Acura is no exception. In fact, last year, the RDX made up a third of the brand's US sales. So there's a lot riding on this all-new 2019 Acura RDX. Now, this one is technically the RDX prototype, but we're expecting that the finished version that we'll see this summer will look pretty similar to this. It's two and a half inches longer than before and a little bit wider, but because it rides on an all-new platform, Acura says it should be lighter than its predecessor. The new design is really fresh and athletic. Up front, it starts with these new dual-eye LED headlights, as well as a version of the diamond pentagon grille that we've come to expect on a lot of new Acura designs. And around back, this floating roofline treatment really complements the sleeker roofline and trunk spoiler that's on the back. The basic design in the new interior is familiar from some other new Acuras, but what's most impressive about this is the material choices in here. The leathers on the seats and the armrest are really, really soft. All the wood trim is real wood and looks and feels great, and the metals are cold to the touch pieces. And this dynamic mode drive select knob is supposed to recall the one that's in the Acura NSX supercar. One of the most important upgrades inside the RDX is this new infotainment system. So there's a 10.2 inch display up here and you don't control it by using a touchscreen interface. Instead, you use this touch pad that's down here on the center console. Now, sometimes historically using touch pads while driving has proven to be uh, really complicated and really difficult, but Acura promises that its system with absolute positioning is gonna be a little easier. What that means is I touch on the touchpad where I want to touch on the screen. So if I touch the top left, it's gonna get me that navigation map. If I want something on the bottom right of the screen, I touch down here. It's gonna have support for Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. And based on using this brief demo, I'd say the graphics are a lot crisper and the operation is a lot swifter and more responsive than Acura's old two screen infotainment system. The only engine choice will be a turbocharged two liter four cylinder with a 10 speed automatic transmission. And though we don't have any horsepower figures yet, Acura says it'll have a lot more low end torque than the old RDX's V6. Front wheel drive is standard, but buyers who choose all wheel drive will get Acura's super handling torque vectoring rear differential for more enthusiastic cornering performance. That was available on the first RDX, but not on the most recent models, so it's cool to see it return. And for even more driving fun, adaptive dampers will be optional too. All told, there's a lot of stuff for us to get excited about with the 2019 Acura RDX prototype. For more on this car and every other debut at the Detroit Auto Show, be sure to visit us at motorone.com.